do you know you can copy any color from any photo you like? With Evoto's new AI color mash tool, it's easier and better than using presets. You will stop using presets after watching this video. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to use the color mash feature. I'm also going to show you how I use some of my favorite Evoto feature. So stick around because at the end of this video, you are definitely going to learn something new. Let's get started. After importing your photos for Evoto, they are going to show up here. At this more of white weddings, I'm also going to show you how to use this color match feature for a Nigeria wedding as well. Once we select the picture we want to edit, the first thing we want to do is to come to this color adjustment tab right here. So click on the color adjustment tab. Once you click on that color adjustment, it's going to open this tab for you. So all you have to do is to click on this AI color adjustment right here. And you are going to see color match. So what we want to do from here, we want to upload the reference image. That is any image we like the color, we want to upload this to Evoto. And Evoto is just going to copy that color of that image and put it on our own image. Now here's how you do it. Just click on this upload for match right here. And just look for where that image is. All right, so I downloaded this image from Berge Pictures on Instagram. If you know Berge, you know his colors are amazing. Let me just show you. This image was shot by Berge. So this is the color I want to copy and paste it on my own image. All right. So I'm going to click on open after I select this image. It's just going to process, as you can see, process right here. It has finished processing. Let me just show you the before and after. Take a look at the image. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see... We just copy the color of this our reference image and put it on our image right here. Now let's try it on this other picture right here. And I'm going to show you how to make manual adjustments to make it match even more. So if you want to try it on this other image, just let the image and click on this one right here. This reference image and just going to process. You can see right now it's processing. So let's just wait for it to finish processing. It has finished processing. So see the before and the after. The before and the after so much better so let me just put them side by side so you can see so you can see the before and the after also let's check this one side by side the before and the after now let's move on to a nigeria wedding and show you how you can use it as well so once you started the nigeria wedding just click on this image right here and you can see it's processing you can see it has applied this effect to this image now let's put this side by side so you can see the before and after this is the before right here, and this is the after, okay? Now, if you want to make adjustments, you feel maybe the color is too much, what you can do? So under the adjustments, you can just come to the color right here and just reduce the color. Also, if you want to bring back the original skin tool of your image, you can just come to this tune right here and bring the tune down like this to bring back the original tune of your image. And also, if you want to reduce the overall amount of the color, just come to the amount right here and take it down. I'm just going to reduce the overall amount. All right. So this is just a basic adjustment. Now you can even go further and do some advanced adjustments. Now let me show you. I want to take this one to 100% again. 100%, 100%. All right. Now if I zoom in, you can see the trousers of the man or the groom rather are stun green. And I don't want it to be green. So what I'll do, I'm going to double click on this my reference image right here. Once I double click on it, it's going to open this adjustment for me. Now from here, we have person and we have background. And under the person, you can choose to reduce the amount of the colors on the face, of the skin of the face only. You can choose to reduce the amount of the color on the body skin. You can choose to reduce it on the hair. Now since I want to reduce this on the trousers, so I'm going to click on close right here. Once I click on close, all I have to do is come to the color and just reduce the color to reduce that green color on the trousers so you can see the color of the trousers is just going to turn black so let's just wait for it to process you can see it has turned black all right so if i take it back to 100 percent it's going to be green and if i reduce it it's just going to reduce the effect on the clothes all right so this is how you can make an advanced adjustment and not just that you can also do the same thing for the background so if you don't want this effect to affect the background what you can do you can click on background right here and just reduce the colors and the background so if i take it all the way to zero let's just wait for it to load so you can see the effect you can see the colors are no longer on the background and if you want to add just a little bit you can just move the color up just like this 
and just going to apply a little of that color to the background. So the same thing applies to the face, the hair. So you can just mask out anywhere of the image. You don't want this color to affect and it's not going to affect it. So this is how you have control over this color adjustment. All right. Not just wedding picture. You can actually apply this effect to any image. So let's apply a cinematic color grid to this image right here. To do that, remember, come to your color adjustment, click on your upload color. That is, you want to upload the image of the color you like. All right, so let's apply this cinematic color grading to this image. This one right here, I'm going to click on open. So this is the cinematic color grading I want to apply to this image I opened right here. So apply it. Once I select this image, I'm going to click on open. I'm just going to generate. And let's just wait and let's just wait for it to finish processing once it's finished processing you can see you just apply the color i have for this image to this one right here but i don't like it so i'm going to upload another one so click on upload color match let's try this other one so i want to try this color and just click on open so let's just wait for it to process you can see right here it's processing all right so i think this one works better for me i actually like this one the before and the after the before and the after and if you feel the amount is too much you can just take the amount or if you want to bring back the original color of the skin you can just take down the skin tone to bring down the original color of the skin if you want to reduce the color come to color and reduce the color right here now trust me when i said this is better than using presets or lots so to get the best results for this feature make sure the reference image actually match your own image like the lighting and maybe the environment to get the best out of it I just want to put it out there so if your image is bright and you copy color from an image that is dark you might not get the best results so you get the point now aside the color match some of my favorite everything feature is this removing of glass glare right here so you can see this glass glare on the image if you want to remove it in photoshop it might take a while and you might not get the best results but it's so easy to do with everything ai all you have to do is come to your portrait retouch right here and just come to eyes so open the eyes scroll all the way down you are going to see remove glass glare right here. Just move this slider up. I'm just going to remove those glass glare as you can see. See the before and the after. Let me put them side by side so you can see. See the before and the after. That glass glare is no longer there. Also, let's try it for this other image. If I want to remove the glass glare, just come to remove glass glare right here. And to automatically remove it. Like the result is really amazing. So you can see the before and the after. The before. And the after now another evoto feature i really like is the fabric so if you want to remove wrinkles from your fabrics it's very easy to do with evoto so let me just click on this image right here so once i select this image if i zoom in you can see the image the fabrics are kind of squeezed so if you want to remove those wrinkles all you have to do is click on this close right here once you click on close just click on this the wrinkle clothing right here take it to 100 i'm just going to remove those wrinkles on the close as you can see so see the before and the after the before and the after so this is really easy to do with evoto ai let me put them side by side see the before right here and the after the before and the after so much better now another feature i like about evoto is this remove distraction from background and also clean backdrop so if you want to clean this backdrop and remove those lights as a distraction it's really easy to do with evoto and the result is amazing okay so to do that just click on this background right here. Once you click on your background adjustment, just turn on this remove distraction. I'm just going to remove those lights as a distraction, as you can see. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And if you want to clean the backdrop, you want to remove those dirt and the backdrop, it's really easy to do with Evoto as well. All you have to do is click on this clean backdrop right here. So let's just wait for it to process. I'm just going to clean the backdrop, as you can see. The before and the after the before and the after so you can do these things in a photo in just simple steps and the result is really really amazing now if i continue showing you some of my favorite evoto features if you want to get this evoto ai i'll be leaving the link where you can get it in the below of this video and if you use that link you're going to get 30 credits that means you can edit static pictures and save static pictures and if you like it and it's something you want to do for a very long time you can buy it it's really affordable and i recommend it so another feature i use inside of evoto is the sky replacement option right here so for example if i want to replace the sky of this image now if i do that let me just apply color match for this image i don't like the color of this image 
So I'll come to my color adjustment right here and just apply this color to this image. So let's see, all right? It's much more better like this. I'm just going to take down the amount. All right, so it's better like this. Now, speaking of the um, sky replacement, if I want to replace the sky of this image, all I have to do is open the sky replacement. And if I click on this job that I have right here under the recommend, you can see I have different skies to choose from. I have the blue skies. I have the bright blue skies. I have the sunset. So if I just select any one, it's just going to match the colors of the sky to fit the environment, as you can see. So if I select this one, it's just going to fit the environment. So let's try bright blue sky. Let's try this. You can see, it's just going to fit the environment like that. And not just that, you have the option to adjust the sky the way you want with this opacity slider right here. And also, we can blur the sky. So if you want to blur the sky, just click on this sky blur right here. I'm just going to blur the sky for you. But I'm not going to be doing that. Also, if you want to make it warm, you can come to this temperature and move it. And that thing, if you want to flip it, you can flip it from here like this. So you have different adjustments for the sky replacement right here. So another feature which I use on a regular, even if I'm editing in Photoshop, if I want to do this, I take the pictures to Evoto and just do this. And it's called eye bag remover. So if you want to remove eye bag from your image, it's really easy to do with Evoto and the result is amazing. And here's how you do it. So just come to your portrait editor chain. Once you click on your portrait editor chain, come to this blemishes remover right here. Under the blemishes remover, just scroll all the way down and you're going to see eye bags right here. All you have to do is move this slider up to about 100% and come to this lower eyelids and just take it down to zero. I'm just going to remove the eye bag for you as you can see. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. So this one feature I use with Evoto, it just make it look easy and realistic. Okay, another feature I use is the makeup. So if I want to add focus to this image, all I have to do is come to my makeup. Under my makeup, I'm going to scroll the way down. All right, and come to this face decoration. So under this face decoration, we have focal one. So you can just click on it. It's going to add a focal. And you can take the amount to 100, as you can see. Let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So you have different options to choose from. I like this focal four. So the before and the after. Also, if you want to add catch lights to your image, all you have to do is to come to these eyes right here. Once you click on eyes, just scroll the way down and you're going to see catch lights. So if you click on this first one, just take a look at the eyes. It's just going to add catch lights to your image. So see the before and the after. Also, let's try this five. Let's try this six. Let's try this four. I think four works. The before and the after. The before and the after. So this is how you can match color with Evoto AI without using presets. And also, these are some of my favorite Evoto AI feature. And I made a full Evoto course. Like if you want to learn how to edit your image or retouch your image with Evoto and everything you need to know about Evoto from start to finish. If you want to watch that video, you can check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.